Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, a better than expected non-farm payrolls on Friday boosted the US dollar, which in terms sent the Australian dollar further to its downside target, seen at 75 80 90. Posting the low close to 76.20, the market has stays a modest rebound. Nevertheless, technically, there is still a bearish bias holding, but a slight bullish divergence seen here. Overall, though, I feel the market may tackle the downside further. And with the 60-day moving average at the moment, putting a bit of a pressure on the downside, could see a slide towards its bottom side of the range of 75, 80, 90 and reassess from there. Meanwhile, the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, and the euro, sorry, is weighted at 57.6, is likely to see the weight of the euro, but did record a fresh high of 92.22, and does appear to be on a further rebound, and therefore expect to see further recovery this week. Looking at the dollar yen picture, although we are overbought, the market is still pushing higher and now clearly diminishing that bearish divergence. With the ADX still strong, could see the rise that is towards 109, which is another 100 points. And reassess from there. The pound tackling that level of 138.30, not quite broken, but we do have the Bank of England. Governor Andrew Bailey speaking today, so that could see a little bit more volatility. I believe the market is heading towards 135, as we've seen that rejection of that 142 has put the bears in motion, and also from that bearish outside range, they have strengthened the downside risk, and therefore with the technicals negative, I view that target. Looking at sterling yen, the market still struggling at its 150 level. If I, if we view that is. The uh, sterling leg to break further since they're taking out that level of 138.30, then we should see further weakness for sterling yen. Gold objective, well, there is a little bit of bullish divergence here. Keep an eye on this because this could put further risk to the upside and see a recovery about $60 up towards that 1760.65, with the base still holding relatively well at 1680. And finishing off, well, the market. For oil, stages a very strong rally of nine months due to the fact of an attack on Saudi facilities. And therefore, it's put a bit of risk in terms of the upside beyond 65, maybe up towards the region, somewhere of 76 dollars a barrel. So keep an eye on that. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look after the intro, Paul. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day and this great start to this new week.